And welcome back to the long run where we are playing Crosscode. So, we have a couple of goals in front of us right now. Uh, mainly one to uh, finish all of the trials of the Golden Bugs. And uh, two, uh, get all of the uh, landmarks. So we can find out more about what Henry is doing. Oh, Henry. Yeah, I think the, the, the quality drops are fixed for the time being. Which, that wasn't an ideal fix, but... It works. So I guess there's that. Yeah, so there's a passage to the north here. Oh, okay. These guys just followed us. That's cool. Let's see if we can fight over here while we won't bother the uh, samurai bugs. Unfortunately, as established before, uh, our party members cannot aggro random things. Um, there we go. Yeah, there is a thing over here. Also, have we been out here? We haven't. Ah, there's a trial over here. The trial it is you seek and a trial you shall receive. Agility can be both a curse and a blessing. This trial will test your speed and reaction time. Simply follow this bug, but be aware of its trickery. Approach it to begin. I don't want to follow the bug, I want to run away from it! But how do I get up there? Okay. Ah. Uh. It goes off in three different directions. Okay, that wasn't the way. As a certain someone might say, do you know the way? Whoa. A little slow down there. That's the correct one. Really? I'm not really sure if there's a way to find out, like, which one is the correct one. Uh... Oh! Well then, Seeker. You have completed the Trial of Agility. Take this token as a sign of your victory. Okay! Two down, two to go. Uh, so where are we now? Western exit. 
And there is not one here. Nesting grounds and flower lake. I mean this? Yeah, maybe I could have done that. Of course, now we'll never know. Here is how. Yeah, there we go. Fix hot sauce. Hey, there's no mega crystal there. I don't know if we've fully studied it yet. Uh, botanics. Sapphire Ridge. We have not. Still need two more. Before I do that, I'm gonna go over here. See what else there is to see in this path. Okay. shenanigans. This looks involved. Where do I go to climb up? That's my question. <laughs> Your little insane brain. I'll just wait until we get to... Uh... One of the later locations. I am not seeing where to climb. Dang it. Just trying to see if I could climb one of these uh, stalagmites. The answer is no. seeing it at all. Second, just have to plug in that phone.
It might be super obvious if you're looking in the right place. I'm just not looking in the right place is the thing. Definitely don't seem to be able to jump on those. They're effective walls, but not floors. Alright, well. Let's see if we can discover anything else around here. Strong? Yes, I can. It's gonna make it just the right angle. And we get treasure. Four full force moves. One second. Okay. Just, I was mainly just trying to see here if there was some other treasure. Also, someone was, uh, Trying to reach me here. Okay, so yeah, we went to that end to unlock something that allowed us to do stuff here. And now there's still the matter of this. As, uh, there is a path to the north here. It was going to require us to hit this, which will unlock that. Which will let us go up there. Now, in order to hit that, we're going to need to find it's going to be a puzzle much like the uh, much like the one in that other one. But hopefully, we can actually find the starting point for this one. That little spot is gonna aggro on us. Oh. 
There we go. That wasn't much of a puzzle at all now, was it? Uh, let's get, things are getting awful spidery here. A trial it is you seek and a trial you shall receive. A warrior must stay focused even when surrounded. This trial will test both strength and speed. As your, fo as your foes are fast and will grow in numbers even faster. Step into the ring and show us your vigor. We have to fight now? Means that it'll just be spiders. Now that's a plea I never imagined hearing. Why? Sorry? Okay, so this is a two minute survival fight. These guys are level 52, so about on par with what we've been fighting. Fifty-two. Oh. Uh, no big deal so far. We're past the first minute now. Is that really it? Defeat the remaining spiders. There we go. An impressive display. Come and collect your reward. You have completed the trial of bigger. Take this token for the sign of your victory. Okay. Oh, gee. That was it, I guess. So we only have one trial left. It's a flower lake. Over here. I remember that being harder than it was. Oh right, this is the whole maze thing. I guess let's go from the western exit. Let's see how Leah feels about bugs. Dead, whatever. Actually, I think I'm truly starting to get used to those. Yeah. I'm not bugs. Not sure if awesome or just creepy.
Oh, looks like uh, Emily's over them now. Also nice to know that uh, in the far distant future of whenever this game happens, the not sure if meme is still a thing. Like I'm not I'm not a fan of memes, but it's future on man. As you seek in a trial, you shall receive. Patience has become rare in this world. This trial will test your focus and will. Wash the pipe as the water fills up and flows out. Speak to me again if you wish to begin the trial. Do you think that bug will go away while we wait patiently? Of course not. Why would it? Let us test your patience. Stand in the flower circle, still like a stone. By the way, the NPCs are going to be talking during this. Y'all enjoy it. I'm going to be concentrating on the pipe. Because I don't want to do this again. Watch the bamboo pipe closely. Wait patiently until it touches the stone 12 times. Then you shall hit the switch. Let the trial begin. This... this is boring. That pipe doesn't seem physically correct, does it? Gosh, water and cross worlds, never gonna get over that. Hush, nerd. I guess I will end up paying attention. Oh, yeah, I caught that one. Okay, never mind the, the NPCs. I forgot that this thing starts acting weird. I think that's 12? No. Dang. Okay. I think that was 11, actually. Okay. The trick here is don't worry about the sound effect. Watch for the ring that shows up around the stone.
Marvin. Oh, was I supposed to hit it with... Was I supposed to hit it with a BRP? God. Ugh. That, that was definitely 12. I actually one-shot this in my original playthrough. Four. And here I am on my third attempt streaming. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. touched the stone twelve times. We reacted in the right moment. Thus, you completed the trial of patience. Take this token as a sign of your victory. Okay. And you see, they also kind of try to throw you off. How many years ago? Was it six? Maybe even eight? And you threw like ten coins at it at one. And the game is even mean enough to highlight those words. Anyway, there's definitely something going on. One try, baby. Definitely a sad time there, Mike. I'm sorry to hear that. Sonic Fight. A gold tier weapon. That would cut our HP regen all the way down to zero, unfortunately. And that also cuts a little bit into our defense and max HP. Big focus boost. What does Bullseye and Bouncer do? Increase damage and stun weak or break. Increase crit damage. Okay. Not really a fan of that, but you know, it is what it is. Jump? 
Oh. Okay. Yeah, I, I saw Toby uh, do the exact jumps that I needed to do. Just over here. Ah. And we get big treasure. The Omni Lock. Interesting. Now I'm not a fan of the fact that we still have uh, two whole landmarks that we haven't found yet. Well, let's go back to the guy who gave us the thing. Speaker, I have been expecting you. The Golden Guardians of the Ridge have whispered of your feet. However, we have yet to complete one final trial. How? Temple, take this key. This will grant you access to a long forgotten dojo hidden in the northeast of Sapphire Ridge. There, your last trial shall begin. See if you are worthy of the shade. I can see the determination glowing in your eyes, Seeker. Don't let it burn you. Remember what you learned, and act wisely. Good. Now go. I'll meet you at the do I'll meet you at the dojo. Stay ever vigilant, speaker. Guy just kind of vanishes. Press the right buttons, Coolio. An unfortunate series. I still like that that uh, quest name. An unfortunate series of features. The old dojo northeast of Sapphire Ridge. I don't think we've seen that. High ground, spider chasm, flowery. That's gotta be up here, isn't it? So I am gonna, I am in fact going to have to figure out this room. Oh. Seems I just need to take a little break from this room. Here it is. I was looking too closely at the same things over and over again. That was my downfall there. Better. Elite Berry Tea. That'll actually allow us to continue forward. And we are, in fact, at the old dojo now, but. Since we're now here... Yeah. Now we can unlock this. Provided that bugs don't start blocking our way in here. I'm trapped. Well, everyone else got hit, but not me. Sure that this whole thing is blown up. 
It's a good thing that recovery is quick in, uh... Oh, well, that sucks. I guess we're gonna have to clear the way here. I definitely did mean to set you off. One of these groups is gonna aggro. And it's gonna be this one. Level up. Up to 53 now. And these guys are not outgrowing, so at least there's that. We can also go up here. Which leads to something. Possibly leads to this area's dungeon. that shortcut. And it seems like we have like two completely separate uh, paths. If we have this, that go? What? I just kind of... Oh, it must have ricocheted off of this corner here. That's what happened. Far walls are a little weird sometimes. So that's gonna end up making that VRP a lot slower too. to go over there and actually press that button in order to aim that correctly. Follow the correct path, Julio. Oh, now these guys are back. They're not aggroing though. But they might 
depending on if this hits them. Also, they're in the way. Yeah. They got in the way. of my way. Holy moly. Well, that might have cost me. Oh, I got it. There we go. That was for treasure. Golden treasure, too. Let's see what we got. Shining breath. It's another weapon. That's well, level 59. Which would uh, decrease our attack and defense, increase our focus and resistance, and give us status rush. Uh, yeah, hold on to it, but I don't think I'm gonna use that. First try, indeed. Oh, uh, what was over here? Alright, it was. We need a shade for that, and that's probably the shade that we're working on getting. Hmm. I want to hit that Omega Crystal. Let's see you over there. Definitely can't do anything there. Oh geez. Okay, I didn't want to fight three of them. Not really sure why I did. At least we're level 53 now. However, I am fighting like a buffoon. And getting completely burnt before I even get the chance to eat a sandwich. Okay, anyway, that this is a this is the landmark. And there's also a thing over here. Which I managed to hit in one try. So we have three green risotto. I want to get down. There we go. 
I guess that's probably how I was supposed to hit that, uh, that thing over there. I slightly broke of that as well, but not as badly. There's a golden treasure there too, I want to get that. Oh my goodness! Why are there four of you? Oh, and this is this is an ambush too. Like I cannot get out of it. This is where we use a cross match. Ow! Okay, get this one. It's almost dead. That time, buddy. Okay. Okay, that gives us another weapon, the War Keeper. Level 60 purple. Oh, I think I want this. Yeah, we lose our solid guard and pin body, but we get. Uh, Berserker, a bunch of HP and attack and focus. We lose defense though. But I think that's, this is something that I do want. Okay, so that opens up that platform. Oops. Now let's us go up here. Just let's go over here. And get this treasure. Lead boots. That seems like something that I don't want to wear, but let's check it out. Oh, that gives us SP regen, that gives us a Leaf Bracer, which, what does that do? <laughs> Using items cannot be stopped by any attack. However, you can still suffer damage. But that does mean if we're in the middle, uh, if we're in the middle of eating a sandwich and someone comes and hits us, we will finish eating that sandwich. Uh, Berserker is uh, increased damage dealt with that when at critical HP, the below 33%. So right now we have a 50% increase when we're about to die. Also, I completely did not actually equip those. So now we just have to replace this torso and we will be pretty much good. After coming out of that previous... No, it's instance! I don't want to do this alone! But yeah, like, after coming out of that previous area with, like, 
having to go back to town in the middle of a dungeon because uh, I forgot to gear up. Um, this is a very welcome change. Okay. Is that? Show us what you have learned. Okay. Ah, no. I'm not gonna finish eating the sandwich if, uh... Ah! Yeah, that didn't go well. store. Oh geez, there are three of them now. Mastered every trial put in front of you. The golden beetles are proof of that. Ooh. And you survived our little surprise. But this was not your last trial, oh no. In your last trial, you will face the guardian of this place. Speak to me if you want to, uh, if you wish to start this final test. Okie doke. You take a drink first. Seeker, are you ready to face your final trial? Do this. Very well. Seeker, it's time for a duel. It's time to do 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 duel. Okay. Ah. Uh. Ah, I ran out of, uh... I ran out of dash. Who's the real one, if any? There we go. That's you. Almost got him broken. There we go. And now he's going. Ow. Um, sandwich. 
Okay, you're... Getting hit by so many of these. Okay. Um. Should have gone with something that uh, was faster. Break him first and then uh, go for the big one. Okay. Do I have enough at SP? No. Now I do. There we go. It's a rough fight, but we got it done in one. Got a Twilight Shard. As I would see, this, the day a sneaker would best me in combat. It was a good fight, and you can be proud of it. You have earned the mark of mastery, and with it, the Meteor Shade. Now walk through the door behind me and speak to the ones that came before to receive your prize. Oh, hey. Spermenter Leo, what a coincidence. It looks like we both just passed the final trial. Leo. Huh, that was quite troublesome. All that sword fighting is hard to handle for a mage class. Oh, I see Apollo's here as well. Hmm, that guy sure was fast. Hi. Leah, yeah, you're here as well? We just keep running into each other. Bug. Bug. Samurai. Bug. Samurai. Boss. Or was he just a samurai? I'm not sure. Maybe his armor just made him kind of look like a bug. Well, actually, traditional samurai armor is already bug inspires a shut up nerd. Wait, what's everyone doing here? Did we all just pass this quest at the same time? Oh, looks like it. Talk about coincidence. Oh well. It certainly was the worst quest ever. And it's done? Done and over with. Congratulations, Pentabest. Now the time has come to collect our reward. Wee wee, let's go. This is Diorbus, I believe. Your journey brought you to the forest of the eternal light, taking on the trials given by the creatures of these lands. You proved your vigor, your patience, your agility, your insight. 
all the virtues to be held by a true envoy of change. Your accomplishments shall be acknowledged. Take the shade to open the path through the, through the northern caves. Meteor shade obtained. Let your every step form the path of your growth. Seeker, you just acquired the meteor shade. And with this, I am proud to announce that you've reached the very frontier of Operation Trackwalker. This is as far as humankind has walked the track. In other words, you successfully completed your objective. Congratulations. With every seeker completing the track, we feed essential input into the ancient system, enabling us to access it further. However, we have yet to unlock its final part. Until that time comes, you are officially freed from your duty. As a reward for your accomplishments, you can now access the main city of Rhombus Square. This place provides many opportunities to further enhance your skills. And of course, your continued assistance to the community of Shadu would, uh, ah, would be greatly appreciated. In addition, you shall receive your usual reward as well. Yes, the circuit overrides that I'm not going to use ever. Seeker, you have our deepest gratitude. When the time has come to walk the track even further, we will meet again. Goodbye, and as always, stay vigilant. Well, looks like we're going to have to wait for a content patch in order to finish the final dungeon. Um, that doesn't mean that we're done, though. Um, did we just complete the game? Sure. We completed the track and now can enter Rhombus Square. It means we reached the end game. What? I was expecting another dungeon. Yes, and Incitainment is working on the repair. People are hoping for an update that will complete the track. So you're telling me Crossroads is still in early access? Oh dear. Complete gaming experiences really have become rare these days. You know, at least it's all coherent with the lore. Humankind simply has, to, has yet to unlock the final part of the track. And it will happen if enough Seekers run the track. Me, me, that's very convenient. Wait. Yeah, that means Grand Criscaio is pretty much our last dungeon race, no? So, not counting that tutorial dungeon, we had five runs in total. And the final score of Leah vs. Emily is... 4-2-1. <laughs> You really had the upper hand, didn't you? And uh, here I thought I'd have a chance after I won the, tur the tutorial dungeon. Well, it would certainly was a lot of fun to do those races. Let's continue once, I once new dungeons are added. Darn right. So, anyone want to check out Rama's Square? Sure, why not? Where do we have to go? Back to Cross Central, then take the south exit. Love you. I honestly just want to get out of this bug infested place, so I'll go ahead. Let's meet at Cross Central. Alright! We did it, Leah. We, did we got the last shade. Also, mean this, uh, that means we can also access the northern part of Sapphire Ridge. Hopefully, we will find a place near Dream somewhere in that area. Oh, we are running out of options. Of course, if you like, you can uh, join the other uh, join the others and explore around the square first. Finding Satoshi's hideout can wait a bit longer. Uh, so I think, as far as progressing the game, that's what we're gonna do next time. For now, let's go reap the benefits of our rewards. First, unlock the rest of these. Oh wait, I have to unlock them by, uh... Hang on. I'm forgetting how to do that. Um... And, yeah... From the looks of it, we... It looks like we're able to access Vermilion Wasteland, but no. Blocked, down center. Um, 
So what we need to do is go to the cave in. Then do that, and then we can unlock that. And then we can go to um, I think it's base and keep. Yeah, there we go. Like the cross central. And we can unlock that gate. So now all of these gates are unlocked. Not that it particularly gives you anything, but we also have access to Rhombus Square. So this is it? Is this the entrance to the city? Indeed, from here you can take the Sky Rail to any part of the city. There's a shopping district, a residential re uh, area, and of course the arena. I recommend checking out the stores. The booster items are especially interesting. We'll be going then. See you around. So, how about it, Leah? Shall we explore the city together? Sure will. Ah bien, let's go. Not her to have a look around the city now. Just don't forget that our next destination is the north of Sapphire Ridge. So here we are. Uh, looks like we... Uh, we can actually get to the shopping. It looked like it was locked from that icon, but I guess not. Some really cool gear this time. Lots of different ways to make epic metal, apparently. I, th I find this bug uh, weird. It's like it's popping us temporarily out of the ninja outfit to move us back into the room because we can't pass this uh, this gate and then popping us back into the ninja outfit. That's why that's happening. Welcome to the Boost Lounge, Speaker. Here you can acquire the booster item introduced in version 1.35-1 of Crossroads. As it is your first visit here, allow me to explain. These traders behind me have, uh, hold a booster add-on for each one of the major areas. Once acquired and turned on, enemies in the affected area will become much stronger. You'll also drop rare gemstones used in various trading offers around Rama Square. However, each trader requires a legendary item that can be found in that affected area. They are very well hidden. Try communicating with other players in order to locate them. Good luck and happy hunting, Seeker. So it looks like right now we have the item for Gaia's Garden, which is the Galaxy Berry. Um. I'm not going to get this one yet, because the boost that uh, enemies get here is rather significant. We might be able to survive uh, Autumn's Rise and maybe Autumn's Fall, Bergen Trail. We wouldn't be able to survive these. Uh, so for that one, we would need Azure Dragonfly. But yeah, these are kind of expensive, so I don't just want to buy them uh, before we can actually make good use of them. Huh, and this one doesn't do that goofing effect, which is weird. Curio. Only one item per body, though. Those are rules. Chest detector. Hmm. 
So, we got the chest detector. Um, there we go. And very simply emits an impulse when entering a room that contains an unopened chest. So now we'll know where the chests are. Which means that we're probably going to get a lot of pings for a lot of rooms that might not get resolved right away. Restricted area. Simon says, go play in traffic. Um... I am not entirely sure where I am right now, but I don't think this is supposed to happen. Um... I broke the game. Now I'm gonna warp back to the uh, landmark before I break myself. Two chests around here. There's one there. And this uh, this one will actually require us to go play in traffic, actually. It has two rubies. Actually, I guess that didn't actually require us to, to do that. But it was good to demonstrate that it can be done. Because some chests will actually require us to do this. Such as that chest right there. Okay, so we can actually jump on that. And these, these items, the rubies and emeralds, are actually uh, samples of the special items that we would get from um, from the, the boosted areas. So here's where the arena lives. Arena records and options unlocked. Not sure exactly where that is. The six, maybe? Yeah, okay, so this page is now unlocked here. I don't know why there's a quest bulletin board. Because there are no quests that we can take here. It's down here. Buy circuit overrides if we want to. Interesting that they're, they're uh, just kind of following along and not really attacking. There we go. And here's where we can use our circuit overrides. Which I don't know if we've had circuit reset terminals in other places.
What over here? They have mostly cosmetic items. Actually, no, they have a bunch of equipment too. Look at that, level 65. But these cost arena coins. There's also Elementor, which I find kind of useful in quickly, um, like more more quickly identifying what element you have by looking at Leah. Go ahead and stock up on sandwiches here. I mean, still got more of the city to look around, so... We can, we can do arena stuff later. figure out how to get that chest. So we can get on top of those pillars maybe if we go through this building and come out on top. And I think if we go here, yeah, that's going to show up. There we go. Okay, so that is level. That gives us two topaz. Now let's see, where was that other chest? There we go. Here it is. Two diamond. This one's a little trickier. You don't have a whole lot of time to react. Oh come on, I wasn't touching the I wasn't touching the road there. There we go. I think that was entirely unnecessary, but whatever. We've tagged the south arch. So here are the upscale residences. This is basically where the whales live. Do not disturb. Okay. Fan club. Bring back fishing. Omni gliders. Hey, there's a thing there. I don't want that. Okay. 
Apparently I can't get there from here. What's it about? No plans to ever bring, bring fishing back. Most people just enjoy hitting plants more. Oh, okay. Um, well, I overjumped it there, but there we go. You got a moonstone for that one. Emily, please. Mr. and Mrs. Ulo. Another chest here? Yeah, there's another chest here somewhere. Ah, up here. How do I get there? Can't enter this house. Maybe I'll be able to enter it at some point. Printabint. It's an excellent name. Anyway. That's just second life. still a chest here. There's a chest here. And the game is saying that I can't cross, but I'm gonna cross- oh. Well that might cause some issues. There we go. So there is a chest up there. And we can get up. Sapphire Ranch locals indulge passionately in the art of poems. And this one is called The War in the Bell and goes like this. Silent Evenfall shall a mealy stern bug wait by the campfire. Composure nighttime. An old strong panda walks. An old strong panda walks watching the berry tree. That that one's cheating. Come on guys. You can do better than that. Hello. Are you looking for a book? Okay. <laughs> so just so you know, this is the bookstore. Not sure what else you hope to find here. I came to this bustling city hoping to get a position in one of their libraries. But someone, yet somehow I end up in this tiny bookstore. Why? Apparently they didn't like the fact that I'm always carrying, carrying this giant bell with me. Yes, yes, libraries are quiet places, I know. What did they expect me to do? Constantly ring the bell like a crazy person? Of course I wouldn't do that. But I just have to bring it with me, okay? It's complicated. Well, at least in this bookstore, they don't mind. Some deep lore you yeah, have going on here. You look at it, you buy it. Sorry, I already looked at the thing and I didn't buy it by forever. Can't go 
that way. Okay, so we've basically been around the entire city at this point. There's one building we haven't gone to. Which is... This? Ah, yes, it is this. Buy a land GF. Gear storage EF, loose lounge, curious trinket. Oh, ground floor, that's what it means. Bunch more traders here. This one seems to be mostly for. Um, use and trading items. I wonder if any of these is all the things that I need to trade. Looks like no. I could sell my old gear, but I don't want to. Okay. I think one thing that we can do is at least get the Autumn's Rise booster. We need two more Azure Dragonflies for that. Get those from Beta and Omega Water Blades and Autumn's Rise. Uh, and Water Blades are these things. So I need Beta and Omega. And we need two more of them, and we can only get them from those plants. We can't trade for them. Oh yeah, here's a thing that we haven't done in a while, too. Uh, we... we haven't... We haven't found the guy who, uh, was looking for the broken equipment. I forget how many of those we've done. Love the music in this game. As a reminder, yeah, these things are level 9 and 10. I'm hoping to, to be able to get the booster uh, in what's left of this stream so I can show you the difference that the booster makes. Because, oh boy, what a difference. That's one Azure Dragonfly.
do. I think it's safe to presume that uh, the water what's it are gonna be next to water. A couple of treasures around here too. There it is. While we're here, let's see if we can possibly get this treasure. Still a chest in this room. Let's see if we can spot where it is. Button. Aha! We discovered the chest. Call it room? Oh. You mean you mean what what I've been calling map? I don't know. I I might sometimes call a single area like a single screen a map or a board. That's just how my brain is wired, I guess. Anyway, let's go back to, to Rama Square. all the stuff we need for the Ryu booster. So, this is Autumn's Rise. I'll well, watch it rise, alright. Uh, where... wait a minute, what? Did I not actually buy it? I did. Where is it then? <laughs> Oh, I wasn't paying attention. That was the problem. Anyway, let's go back to the old obelisk. There's a chest around here. Let's see if we can then identify where it is. First, I want to see if I can find that chest. Then we'll deal with these hedgehogs. Where is it? And there isn't like a button to reveal it. Oh, there it is. Do the laser bridge. Emily likes the laser bridge. Uh, do we need to basically loop all the way around here? And Derpy is, uh, Basically, is my middle name. <laughs> cool, derpy, yo. How do I get there? Do I basically have to come from 
uh, pathway three. Oh, whatever. Um, so, time to reveal how much of an effect the booster has had on Alvin's rise. These things are level 55 now. They were level 9. Oh, what's going on, game? Sorry for the sudden, like, cuts in audio here. I don't know what's going on. I do appreciate the fact that uh, it, like, you, you get that little, like, effect going on, like the little up arrow that show up around these enemies to distinguish the fact that they are, in fact, boosted. So, from each boosted area, we get a different, um, a different rare resource. Uh, and it looks like um, Autumn's Rise here is giving us room. Yeah, computer just can't handle how awesome I am. Also, I need to stop televisioning. I'm almost dead. There we But yeah, like, people who are super into this game and want to um, grind to level 99, which is the cap, uh, this is how you do it. Um, like, you, you start by boosting Autumn Drive, and then you boost uh, Bergen Trail, Autumn's Fall, uh, well, Maroon Valley first, then Autumn's Fall. Um, let's see if these efforts have given us anything that we can buy yet. Probably not, but we'll see. token. Interesting. In order to get any of these, I need antique tokens. So you need topaz and moonstone. Emerald for that. Oh, these are too expensive anyway. Oh, we can get this. We'd be left with basically no money, but we can get it. Falcon. Oh, here's the real good stuff. 
Meister gloves. Ooh, that that stuff looks pretty darn good, but expensive. Infinity plus one bag. Some of these are also trade-ups. Um, like we get the infinite bag from another shop, which might come from getting a different bag from another shop. If I can remember to, I will try to grind out some of this stuff so we don't have to worry too much about it. I might even use a zero XP, um, like zero XP gear so that I don't actually level up while I'm grinding stuff. Missing pixels. Not sure which pixels you're you're talking about there, Joel. Anyway, um Oh. Now I see, yeah. Well, just in time because the we are actually at the end of the stream. So yeah, uh, I'm going to try to remember to actually do a little bit of grinding uh, for stuff. Uh, I will also um, use some zero XP gear so that I don't level up like five times, ten times or whatever and be, end up at a much higher level than uh, what I am today. Um, but yeah. We are at the end of the stream is the big thing here. So, uh, I want to thank y'all for watching. Thank you to Mike Maverick SAG for the uh, new follow. Um, also Chocobo Dragoon followed at some point since the last stream, so thank you for for that. Um, also, thank you to Jason and Jomara for dropping by. Uh, tomorrow's stream is going to be cancelled, unfortunately. Um, there, I do have a meeting coming up at the exact same time as the stream. So, um, unfortunately, that kind of breaks the schedule. Um, not that I'm too worried about the code creator streams anyway. Uh, when it comes time to actually start pushing toward um, affiliate, which if I can ever uh, if I can ever hit 50 followers, then I can start uh, looking at increasing viewer counts. Um, but yeah, during that amount of time, I'm probably going to be calling off the code creator stream anyway. Um, so yeah, that's, that's what's going on tomorrow. Um, I might have, I, I might still have some random streams, because I still need to practice, uh, Super Smash TV. Uh, I might, I might do an extra stream of CrossCode where I do the grinding. And I promise that I will not do any story progression, whether or not I stream, that is for Tuesdays. But no story progression until Tuesday, you have my word 100%. Uh, so that means the next scheduled stream is going to be on Sunday at 7.30pm, asterisk, uh, Atlantic Standard Time, it is our Sunday Super Shovel stream. Um, unfortunately, nobody is going to be playing Risk of Rain 2, most likely, because that's broken. It just got uh, updated uh, either today or yesterday, and the new update completely breaks the mod. Um, but uh, we still have 14 game, well, 15 with Meredith to pick from, so, you know, still plenty to, uh, to go with, um, so we'll go with that. Uh, that brings us round the week, round the wheel, to our next 
um, long run stream where we are going to continue Crosscode and uh, discover the secrets within Sapphire Ridge. Um, oh, there also might be another Blitzkrieg Zoot stream on Saturday. I believe that's when the next one is. So um, possibly watch out for that. Anyway, that's going to do it. I'm Coolio, if you don't know. See you guys next time.